everyone. You may have noticed that Christmas is fast approaching. Well, it's the beginning of December and we have our first Christmas themed planner page. I've got a bit of candy cane already. That came from um, Colt Pens, I think. Anyway, <laughs> we've got this snow globe. So happy Monday, everyone. And we have our Johanna snow globe to colour. Now, I've had a few ideas about this um, as to what to do. I think I'm going to start with the base. Um, I've got some ideas for the sky. I've got no clue what I'm doing with the castle. So anyway, <laughs> if I start where I've planned and then we'll get on. I don't know whether this is going to be more than one video. I'm sorry about the light. My light has been playing up, so I've got to leave it on a mode that means it won't switch to a different mode, if you know what I mean. It keeps. It's got three modes, um, daylight, white light and some other light and the other light is the only one that's working properly. I'm getting it repaired at some point. So we're going to start with our... Um, no, we're not going to start with that one. We're going to end with that one. We're going to start with this one. Oop. With the um, Cold Grey 6. I don't know how well you can see that. And what I'm going to do is do a graduation of silver colouring to the middle first to make it look shiny. And then we're going to put in some other details after. So we're going to start with a sort of base of dark um, to light and then we're going to move on. So I'm going to start by putting my darkest layer here. You could go as dark as black if you wanted but I'm going to go darker in some of these areas so I need to leave myself some leeway so that I can put down a darker colour. So I'm going to that's why I've started slightly lighter than I could have done. So I'm putting a sort of layer of this and then I'm going to fade it towards the middle a bit and we're going to use other greys, shades of grey on top to get a nice graduation of dark to light like that. And then we're going to do the same on this side. I'm just reorganising my desk in a minute. There we go. And same on this side. So our darker colour starts here. My aim is to get a lighter bit right in the middle. I don't, I've got no idea where the middle is at the moment and it's, uh, we'll get there. We count them there to there to there, it's there, look, it's the middle. It's sort of opposite the middle of the door which is probably what you would expect. So how are you getting on planning for Christmas? My plan is to get the decorations up the first weekend of December and uh, that would have already passed. That would have just passed. Would it have just passed? Yes. But um, as I'm recording this in November, to get ahead, as I always do, I haven't done it yet, I started putting up some Christmas lights, um, or some fairy lights, and not just for Christmas actually. I like fairy lights through the winter. It makes me feel warm and cosy and happy. So, okay, I'm now going to switch to, hmm, where should we go? We'll go to Cal Grey 5, I think. We'll do it really gradual. I don't know how well you can see that. And we'll just sort of go over and take the colour in a bit. Yeah, so I've started doing a few things. I've started planning. I've got my sort of family Christmas get together. I'm finding this awkward colouring down here, the wrong angle for my hand. Um, I've got family get together on the 18th, so I have to have everything done by then. But that's okay. I will. I like to be organised well in advance. I'm that sort of organised in advance type person, so. I am confident that I will be ready well in time and it's just the amount of food I've got to think about because um, I'm not used to catering for 12 people. This is called Grey 4. Oh, you can't see. It's too small. This is my penultimate colour. Yeah, so yeah, it's hard knowing quite how much to um, food to prepare and cook but um, I should just have to I think what I'm going to have to do is it's going to be determined by the size of my oven and my pans. So basically I'm just going to fill everything up and hope it's enough, really. I'm not sure if I've really got room to cook enough sort of things, but 
you know, I'm sure I'll get there. Right, we're on our last colour now, which is cold grey three. We want to leave a white bit down the middle. I'm going to put this all over so that I can tidy it up a bit. I'm not going to press mega hard though because I need still need to put other colours down. But I just want to sort of smooth it out. Make sure you can see the transition between going from dark to light colour, which I'm struggling to see, to be honest. I'm remembering where that white bit's going there, so I need to fade it off there. Yeah, it's always, um, food is always such a big thing, I think, on these sorts of occasions. I bought a load of Nippon snacks, so I hope that's going to be good. Now I'm going to grab my Payne's Grey and do some details. Firstly, I'm going to go, hmm, let's have a think, in between these circles, I'm going to put a darker bit. But as we come across, that darker bit is going to get slightly lighter in line with the, how we've lightened it. So I'm just putting a bit less down. Now when we get to the centre where it's white I'm going to just put a little bit down. Now it's a little bit tricky because this is quite an intense colour but Polly's aren't particularly dark, um, sort of vibrant or intense perhaps is the word I'm looking for. So if you're careful you can get a fairly light layer where it's needed. And then I can put a bit more down as we go out towards the edge. Like that. Now, I've got this line. Um, I'm thinking under here I'm going to make it darker in this bit. And just sort of working out really where to put this sort of more shadowy area. So here, quite light and getting a bit darker, darker here and darkest here, like that. Um, hmm, I'm thinking under here, can make it darker, so there's a bit of shadow as if that bit is sticking out. I'm doing it lighter here. I still want it to be there, but just lighter. Like that. Now on the bit above where we filled in that bit, I don't think that's defined enough. I'm going to go around the edge in a darker line. That was very inaccurate there. Try not to make it as dark on those areas which want to look whiter. Here we can get darker and darker. There we go. Now, all these little bits in here, I think I want them to look like they're standing out a little bit. So I am going to go underneath each one with a line and a little bit up the side and again as we go across we need to do a little bit less so it's still you can still see it but it doesn't it's not as doesn't need to be as dark because we haven't got as much color in the background cleaning the house this morning singing all my christmas carols that i knew it's a great way to clean because I don't, most people dislike cleaning. I don't really dislike it. I like the results of cleaning, having a clean house is rather nice. Um, for this one, my line's going to go underneath these. But um, in order to make it more fun, I was practicing all my Christmas cows. I'll say it's only November, but I'm getting, had to get in the Christmas mood to colour this. So that was fun. 
my son said you should put a singing video on TikTok. Mm. <laughs> no, not my thing. I don't sing in public, I sing in private. But anyway. There we go. So I'm just going to sharpen my pencil and I want to put a line in here just so that this looks like it's sticking out a bit more. Oops, try not to go over the line but you know me, I'm not that good but hopefully that still helps. Yeah. Now we have this bit down here again. I'm going to put a line in there. I'm going to try and fade it down as we get towards the middle. Just like we have with all the rest. Oops. A bit thick there, isn't it? There we go. Now, underneath, what are we doing with this? Well, I think we need a little line under here. As if this bit is just standing out. So you can see how we can just draw over and slightly below Johanna's lines and help to get a more three-dimensional effect. Which I think is fun. Or I'm going for this side now. I don't know if you can even see properly. That might be better for you. It is intricate and you don't have to do this. You can just do the first step where I uh, made it look shiny not perhaps do this one if it's a bit too fiddly but I think it's worth it personally which is why I do it now and put a line under here lighter there I'm also going to put a line further up that I think it could do with up here and here there we go now we've got our pattern down here mm, I think we'll go dark in this bit can do this however you wish with regards to which bits you want to look that are slightly set in and which bits not. It doesn't really matter. Now here I'm thinking I'm going to put a line around here, oops, around there and around the outside here. So this sort of bit here looks like it's standing out a bit more hopefully. That's my sort of plan. And maybe a bit darker in there. It takes a bit of patience and time just to get it working but I think it's worth it. in here don't we? In there. So this can be slightly lighter because we're in the middle. And then came towards the end. Yeah. Yeah I was very interested by my Christmas carol singing that all the songs that I remember the words to were all the traditional hymns. Because those are all the ones I used to sing as a child when I was in various choirs. I want a line under here. And then all the sort of more modern, like pop songs and Christmas songs, particularly sort of American songs, things. I couldn't remember the words of at all. <laughs> I don't do those as much or I haven't done them so much over my life you know so I, 
I was in my primary school choir, my secondary school choir, my university choir, so Christmas, lots of Christmas songs. Right, I'm having a look and a think and seeing whether this is what I need to do now. Now, um, each of these little circles, for example, I'm thinking I might just go a little darker around the edge to make them look like they're standing out a bit. I don't want them too dark because I want the bit behind to look darker. But I just want a sort of darker area marked on them. Not too much again in that middle. Just notice we've got snow to do. Hmm. Be fun. There we go. Now these, I'm thinking I want a line around there. Desk is creaking. My kids are making some weird noises next door as well. One of them is supposed to be doing his maths homework, but hmm, sounds a bit lively for maths homework. There we go. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it actually. I could fiddle more. I think I'll leave it like that. So there is this sort of base part. Um, where are we going next? I'm trying to, I'm not sure how long I've been doing that for. Um, I think we'll do the sky. I've decided that a sort of um, galaxy style sky might be in order. Um, polychromos work well for that, which is why I grabbed them. Um, I'm trying to think what colours, whether we want it pastely or dark. Hmm. Um, I think we could, it's night time, isn't it? Or is it just snowing? Let's, um, let's go with some pastel -y colours. I'm just going to grab some. Uh, is that a good blue? I'm not sure. I've got lots of light blues to pick from. Oops. That, this, and yellow. Um, hmm, what should we do? We could do this with that. Um, we could do this sort of pink. I like red, maybe. Do you think that would be too much? Hmm. Blending some of those together could be tricky. I think I'm going to remove that. Um, those are okay, but we're a bit green and we need another blue. Well, let's do this blue. It's nice blue. And let's do another pink. And then we've got a sort of balance. So let's try that for the sky. I'll tell you what the colours are as we go, don't worry. So I'm going to start with this blue. This is the light phthalo blue. And what I do, I'm going to start with a dark area because we're in the corner. I just need to sharpen it. I'm not going to do the whole of the sky. What I'm going to do is start the sky and then um, sort the video and finish it. So you want a dark area like that. Okay, so that's quite dark. I'm going to make it a bit bigger so you can see it. Should we come in a bit closer so you can actually see? There. So I've put down quite a lot of layers in this corner going right up to the edge of the castle and now I'm going to fade it because this is where it's going to blend into our next colour. So I'm really going to fade it out. Okay. So we've got a nice dark area here and a faded area. Then we put that to one side and we grab our next colour. Um, I'm going to grab this magenta, light magenta, okay, and I'm going to overlap it in part. So here, I'm going fairly gently here, and then I'm really going to layer it up here. I'm going to make this my dark area of light magenta. I'm going to make this quite big actually. 
and then I'm going to start to fade it out. What you want to do when you're doing this is make sure each area of colour isn't exactly the same shape. You want it to look a bit random. So you see I haven't gone all the way to the bottom, we'll slot another little colour in there. And now I'm just fading out in a sort of circular movement. I'm going to try and make sure it looks reasonably neat. Like that and fade it. Fade, fade, fade. There we go. Now under here I'm going to go for this I think. Now this should be random. Um, the dark cadmium yellow. So I'm going to overlap here where it's lighter, both these bits. I'm going to take this right to the edge. So I'm not going to fade it at the bottom here. I'm going to sort of fade it upwards. Join it into there. It should go a bit orangey. Now this isn't going to be perfectly well blended. Um, you could use a more blendy pencil. <laughs> That's an official term. I don't know. Um, like a, um, let's use the light green next. Um, I'm going to put it here, this side, so I'm going to mix it here, like a Prisma or something. But we can use a blending pencil after, or some blending fluid, or a white pencil to uh, get it all mixing together. So I've got to decide where my darkest bit's going to be, and it's going to be just here. And then I'm going to make it light and fade it away from that darkest area. Okay. Now if you don't want to do all these different colours in the background, I just realise you can't see, sorry. Um, you could just do one colour. Absolutely no problem at all. Um, where are we going now? Blue. We'll go to the, this is, whoops, this is the light cobalt turquoise. You could just um, um, use um, one colour, even a pen, and just leave it at that. You don't have to do all these colours. It's just something a bit different to try. Now here, I'm going dark. See, really layer it up. And then fade it down into the pink. Cross to the blue. Fade it in. Now if you have bigger areas, it's quicker. I mean, it doesn't, you don't have to keep swapping colours out so much. But it's up to you. Now I feel we need some purple. We haven't got any purple. Just fade it around here. Try not to go too much over the top of the flags. But you know me. Like snow there. Not going to worry too much about that. I think I've got, I know I've gone too blue, so I'm going to grab a purple. I think we're going to grab the violet. This is a violet for here. They're going to start to fade here. Now violet to green is not a happy um, blend, but just do our best. Oh, it's a big bang upstairs. My husband's cleaning the floors, I think, in the bathrooms. And then fade it. Like that. Okay. You still can't, you can't see again, sorry. Okay, now I'm going to, um, what should we do next? We'll use this pink. This is the um, dark flesh. Again, lightly here where it's overlapping these two. And then darker, say here. And lighten it out here. And around here. Now, I'm just going to leave it there. I know I haven't done all my colours. I'm going to show you how to sort of blend it up together. So, I 
just try and find a bit of paper to and my Caran d'Ache blending stick I think this works well with polychromos some do and some don't you just go over it all and get it all mixed up now you could relayer it all several times to get it looking um, really perfect so but that helps you so I could go back in with my blue the one I started with and just go back over this bit and then back in with my light magenta and blend it back in nicely and then my um, dark cadmium yellow You see here where that it blended, you've got a new colour. Getting down a thicker there here. Blending it all into the green. Like that. And uh, just moving through your colours really. Here's the green, the light green. Make sure it's nice and dark there. Lots of layers. And then, um, where are we? Yeah, the light cobalt turquoise comes in here. Now here I just want to make sure I get it exactly around that flag. So that, and the edge of the castle. Blend it round. It doesn't matter if you overlap a lot, you just form new colours. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just try not to put it on my flag, but if I do, I do. I'll rescue it. It's not going to be a problem. And where are we? We've got our purple or violet, sorry. then our um, dark flesh. So basically we do a couple of layers of each with a blending pencil in between. You can A Prisma blending pencil is very good with polys and a Derwent one works well with them too so you've got quite a bit of choice. And then keep adding. So I've got a light thalo green, I've got a um, light yellow glaze as well so I'm going to add those in too and I'm going to go across the whole thing so basically I'm going to do all the colours um, one layer blending pencil another layer and then I'm going to come back to you and show you um, what I will do to finish it off so I'm going to go and just um, do all the colours and uh, come back to you Right, I am back. What I have done is exactly what I did with the section I showed you. So I've done a layer of colour, um, darker in the centre, fading out, fading into the next colour, used my blending stick to blend it all together, then put back some layers of colour just to um, make it all come together. It's still quite scruffy. We're not... Um, we're not done yet. What we need now is a nice white pencil. I've got a choice here I've got a Caran d'Ache no that's a blender um, I've got a Caran d'Ache um, titanium buff which is a greyish white and a Prisma white that I can try I'm going to use my Prisma white my next step is to go all the way over it with the white now this might seem a little odd what it does is it fades the background back a bit it helps to blend it all together and uh, just 
I don't know, it adds something which I like. It just makes it look a bit neater and nicer. So I'm going to do that, this white pencil all over. Now you won't even necessarily see very much of it, but it just adds a sort of dull layer on top. Now I can actually see the pencil going on because it's catching the light and it's dulling the um, the polychromos which are very shiny. So I can see that it's going down and I just put it all over um, the whole thing. And it helps to mix them up a little bit more and uh, as I say just dull it down. I need to get in there which is going to be fun. And uh, we're going to go all over the whole of the background with this and then we're on to our final step. If you have decided to just do it one colour you probably won't need to do this. Um, you may have used a blender to just get it even. It's quite tricky isn't it? But um, you won't need to use the white pencil to or bring it together. But you might um, like the idea of um, of using it to sort of make it fade it a bit or to sort of blend it even a little bit more but uh, it's up to you now here it's quite scruffy still but I'm not worried I'm just uh, going to keep going and uh, I have faith that it's going to turn out how I am hoping getting in here I'd forgotten about this bit if you miss a few bits, it's not going to matter too much because we've got so many different colours mixing together. It doesn't matter, but if you can, it just helps bring it together. I need to sharpen. I've got a Prisma sharpener somewhere on my desk, but I'm using this one that's close by. It doesn't need to be really sharp. I just had no end left. I don't want to be scraping the wood on the page, scratching it. Now, with white pencils, um, the jury's out really on which is the best. I think most people know which is the worst, but finding the best is quite tricky. I would personally say that the, although I really like the Caran d'Ache Luminance, oops, I've got resting my hand on my pencils, um, the Prisma is so much cheaper, even in the UK where Prismas are quite expensive actually. Um, the Prisma is, um, I would say, better value for money than the Luminance. If you're using it for something like this. Um, apparently the Derwent Chinese White from the... Uh, what's the set called? Um, <laughs> I can't remember. It's very good. and um, I think I'm getting one for Christmas. Just one to try out. Now where your blend is a bit rough, say here, put some extra white on top and it really helps, I think, to uh, make it look neater because it sort of fades it down a bit. Now, it looks quite mu look quite muddy and now it doesn't, and this does too here, so I'm just going to put some extra down. And I think it just, and here is a bit nasty. So just add a bit more white. And we're nearly there. I'm nearly happy. Right, now I'm going to brush that all off because it's left loads of bits. Now the final step for this, what I'm actually going to do is make this the last bit of this video. And then, um, just got to fiddle a bit more. Um, and then I'm going to... Um, do a second video for the actual castle or else it's going to be too much to do all in one day now tomorrow i've got a morning video already i have every morning apart from mondays so what i'm going to do is um put it in the afternoon the second part i don't think it will matter too much right nope i just want to do this bit again such a fussy person there we go white pen time i'm using a white posture now Johanna has drawn snow on here already for us, so we can use that as a guide, but with all these different colours, it look, 
helps tie it really together if you put a lot of dots on. So I'm just going to work right through dotting and then just drawing in the larger snowflakes that Johanna's drawn on as well. Some of the dots will show up better than others, it depends on the colour that's underneath. But uh, it makes a big difference. Get in everywhere. Do them on top of the yellow as well, it won't show up very much, but you might notice if it's missing, if you know what I mean. I'm hardly breathing, I don't know why. <laughs> Holding my breath, it's not really that hard. And you can always add more or less dots. I mean, you can't add less dots, you can do less dots, and then decide whether you want to add more. You can't add less, that's... The, no, um, but yeah, you can go through and add more after if you want to. Now you may struggle to see them, but they make such a difference. If you don't have a good white pen, it's really worth it. Um, the Poscas are expensive. There are other sort of dupes, as people phrase people use, copies of Posca pens. Um, acrylic basically it's an acrylic paint pen I've not tried any other brands so I couldn't say um, the Sakura jelly rolls are very good as well I like those um, what else is there um, I haven't heard about many more but you know the ones I use are expensive but they work you know now the reason I didn't use Prismas for this background was because white pen doesn't always work. On some Prismas the white pen, um, there's bleed through from the pencil to the, to the white so I just avoided Prismas for that reason. So I'm using polys. There we go. So I have finished the base. Oh, I dropped my lid. I put my lid on like that and I dropped the lid so I've got paint on my hand. Yay! I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna make that do for now. Need to, that to dry a little bit, and I need to think about what I'm doing with that castle because I've got no clue. But uh, I shall come back and do another video of castle and snow um, tomorrow. But thank you very much for watching. I hope that was okay. If you find if you're a bit daunted by these big bright colours, just mix a few different blues together or a few different pinks or a few different purples. The blend will be easier because they're closer colours. So that's an idea for you. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a really lovely day and happy colouring.